Okay, it's Friday afternoon, up at the pearly gates. Guy comes in, ay, 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 he's coming up. The green lights are on. St. Peter's got a big smile. He's going through. Touchdown. He is in. Thank you, Lord. Ay, 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 he's made it. He looks around. He's in a beautiful grove of trees. Everything's so perfect. But there are people chained to the trees. Ay, 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 man. He just says, chill goes through him. He looks at St. Peter. What's going on? St. Peter says, oh, that's the Tennesseans. The Tennesseans. Well, yeah, it's Friday afternoon. They all want to go home for the weekend. <laughs> Got that out of a Tennessee history book. One, two, three, four. Come on, Lord, open the door. Well, you've heard the spoken word from the heart. Now what you going to do with this new start? Today's the day you could walk through that door. I know, you've heard it all before. But the Spirit of the Lord's in the air these last days. This time, I'm going to change your ways. But I tell you, friend, you can't do it alone. You'll be right back in the lonely zone And I praise the Lord that you are here What you got to lose but frustration and fear Thank you, Lord, you are here Hey, we got people who've walked in your shoes We ain't robots and neither are you So come on down, start trading places See some real smiling, friendly faces And we praise the Lord that you are here What you gotta lose but frustration and fear Thank you, Lord, you are here But if you're brokenhearted and you're undone You share the cross with the Holy One, he said Forgive them, they don't know what they do. He's got emergency service to get us through. And we'll praise the Lord that you are here. What you gotta lose but frustration and fear. Thank you, Lord, you are here. Hey, you with ideas to help spark this holy flame. The Lord wants you to reveal your name. One thing I'll promise, life will never be the same. He wants you jumping again the world. Praise the Lord that you are here. What you gotta lose? But frustration and fear. Thank you, Lord, you are here. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome to NashvilleOpenMics.com on Channel 19. Nashville's community TV channel, NECAT, and uh, I'm going to be using this as a kind of an introduction to what I hope to accomplish with Nashville Open Mics and uh, maybe even send off a grand caravan around the country doing a good gospel, hee-haw kind of a good time skits, good feeling, have a good troop going and make it better. And here, let me show you what I'm kind of talking about. Okay, here's what you see is what I think might be the nucleus for a grand caravan going around the country doing a gospel good time, maybe hee-haw, do skits, have fun, create a show over the road, as I used to say, take it out on the road and perfect it, and maybe end up with something really good. A real good time, good feel thing. And Nashville's probably the place to find the talent and the creative people to do that. So let me give you a little tour around there now. The one on the, on the right there, that's the Santa Fe. We That was modeled originally. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Okay, this is the deck on top. I've still got some work to do up here, you know, to make it a little more beautiful. But you get the idea. There's tables and chairs that are built in here. And they're strong enough that uh, dancers could bounce off them. Of course, you wouldn't bounce too high with the roof on. But that comes off too. But also... You can see here there's a canvas that rolls down. So for uh, inclement weather, I guess you could say, you could put that down and you could be up here out of the rain 
and possibly be able to heat it in the winter time. This could you could probably serve dinner up here. But uh, so anyway, that gives you. Then you see it's a pretty nice shaded little spot down here too. Though the the Santa Fe there that's made up on the inside that could be a food truck. It's uh, you know open for serving, but I'll show you that at a different time. I'll probably clean it up a little bit. It's just too hot. there you see the ladder that's how you get up I might put up a better ladder but that's actually pretty adequate right there and uh, just goes up hangs on the back there very nicely straight up and down so let me tell you what just happened now I went I went and did the you know the videoing that I that I just showed you there just now today I was putting the awning back up one of the awnings and I won't try and explain. I'm standing there. My fingers got hooked in that big metal part of the eye. <laughs> it goes up against the thing. There's nobody around. I'm, I can't move, it, and it's hurting. It, it's stuck in there. I don't know. Anyway, that was a new experience for me. Ow, and I can't move. What are they going to do? Find me hanging here by my finger? I, I, I didn't last more than about three minutes. So I finally pulled it out, but oh goodness so anyway you don't know what's going on things can happen instantly anytime the littlest thing but uh, thank you Lord that I'm not hanging by my finger <laughs> passed out and dead or something well I don't think it would have come to that but I, 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 I. so anyway <laughs> I guess that would prove that I am deluded because either I am deluded or the Holy Spirit is involved in this because I could never dream up anything like that. My son John helped me build it. He knows the, how it developed and it was beyond both of us. And uh, so here I am now and this is another crossroads. Something's gonna happen, hopefully. Thank you, Lord. I'm not hanging by my finger out there. <laughs> Jump the track. Mm, the stream is about the glory. This train just can't turn back. Mm, the stream is about the glory. This train rings a bell. The stream is about the glory. We hop on board. We got a story to tell. Mm, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The stream is about the glory. The stream, jump the train. Mm. The stream, the glory. The stream just can't turn back. Ah, oh, the stream is about the glory. The stream brings bell in the night. The stream. country, get together a troop, uh, good entertainment, there's plenty of them in Nashville, Whew, let it rip, and uh, like I say, skits, build it into something very good, and there's enough creative talent around here, and, and uh, hopefully, hey, I'm doing what I gotta do, <laughs> don't work out, I run back to Texas, but anyway. Sunshine out of the falling rain. Build me the hope of a new tomorrow. 
fill my cup again. I said, we feed me the sunshine out of the falling rain. Fill me the hope of a new tomorrow. Fill my cup again. Well, they say that the tree of loving shine on me again. Rose on the banks of the river is something. Shine on me again. Oh, we've, we've, we've made the sunshine out of the falling rain. Build me the hope of a new tomorrow. Fill my cup again. Mm -hmm. oh, we've seen the steel and the concrete crumble. Shine on me again. Ooh, the proud and the mighty, they all have stumbled. Shine on me again. Oh, we've, we've, we've made the sunshine out of the falling rain. Fill me the hope of a new tomorrow. Fill my cup again. Well, if I could relieve your sorrow, shine on me again. I'll help you to find your new tomorrow. Shine on Out of the falling rain, build me the hope of a new tomorrow. Fill my cup again. Oh, only you can climb that mountain. Shine on me again. If you want to drink from the golden fountain, shine on me again. Oh, weave, weave, we need the sunshine. Out of the falling rain. This song is by Bob Marley, Three Little Birds. I changed a couple of the words, but I really like it. It reminds me of when Jesus said, don't worry, Bob. Look at the little birds, you know, he said. Don't forget, I got that finger throbbing. <laughs> I'm afraid to touch that one. I always do it. It's different now. in the news the past few months. This is not good. This is very not good.
saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. I was blind, but now that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved how precious did that grace appear the hour I first and snares we have already come it was grace that brought us safe this far and grace will bring me home the Lord has promised to me, his word, my hope, secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. When we've been there ten thousand years, shine as the sun there'll be no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun Fight and pray and live rejoicing in every day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Everybody, 
Everybody, everybody of the blue.
Our favorite song, certainly one of mine. God bless you, Nashville. Hope to see you around. God bless. Thanks for stopping in. See you later. <laughs> okay, I said earlier I would explain a little bit about the Santa Fe. Originally, we were thinking of ways to dress up older motorhomes for resale, something to make them kind of cool again. I even set up a website for the purpose, coolbus.mobi. Mobi is for mobile, you know. Anyway, I was thinking to dress one up as a passenger locomotive engine as a kind of flagship for the idea. My father was an engineer. This is my son, John, on top. Denver Post High School Basketball Player of the Year 2009, I don't mind saying. And this pick was taken outside Taos, New Mexico. That's about the time it started to become something else. The white one is more what I'm thinking of as far as dressing up older ones for resale. They can be made to look pretty good. I've got a lot more to do on this one, but I like doing that sort of thing anyway. And you can live in them quite well, actually, especially out west on government property. I've been doing it for a couple of years and know that a lot of people are interested in doing this. You, can li you can't live any less expensively or more luxuriously as far as I'm concerned. I think there's a real opportunity to update older motorhomes for resale. Hey, you can find them in very good condition for about as low as $3,000. They are undervalued and you can live in them. I think I will do an episode on this in the next show kind of lay out the whole idea. Turns out to be much more than I might have imagined. God bless. See you next time. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks, Kneecat. <laughs>